we are at the International Mountain Summit at Sudtirol, Brixen, with uh, Mark, uh, which is the Global uh, Food Specialist uh, from uh, Gore-Tex. Welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs> we just had the pleasure of Mark uh, letting us know about the revolutionary and new development from Gore-Tex, where he has been working for uh, two or three years. Yeah, well, at least. At least. Well, uh, it's called Surab, and he probably knows more than anybody else in the world as of now about it. So let us uh, know about it just a bit. Okay, let me try to give you an introduction. Um, so our new technology um, that we have developed and we are just introducing right now is called Gore-Tex Surround, um, which has the fundamental idea of having a fully waterproof all around your shoe um, protection, all around your foot protection, while also being fully breathable. Mm -hmm. So not only being breathable in the upper part of the shoe, but also using the area below the foot for breathability. Mm -hmm. Now obviously for Gore-Tex uh, shoes, uh, for outdoor applications or in general for outdoor applications, mm -hmm. um, what is important is to have a, a more or less a normal outsole. Yes. Um, so uh, with all the studs and all the profile and the rubber that you mm -hmm. need. So we, we um, did develop a technology that allows to use a normal outsole. Okay, so we will, we will not tolerate the outsole, no. so no water will come in. No <laughs> holes in the outsole, uh, no openings, really a normal full outsole, Good. can be existing products as you know them. Mm -hmm. um, and um, that was an objective of the product development. So what we developed actually was um, using our laminates and creating, um, I'll take that out, that's the footbed, um, creating first of all a booty which is a um, pretty well known product from us. Yes. That um, will give you full waterproof protection all around your foot. Mm -hmm. while be being fully breathable at the same time, obviously. Mm -hmm. Now, in the upper, we know how it works. Mm -hmm. um, there's materials that allow breathability. Now, the new thing is that below the booty, we are mm -hmm. introducing a new component, which we call the surround spacer. Okay. That is put below the booty. Uh, we can see it here. Yes. And this allows the moisture that comes from the foot and the foot sole goes downwards through the membrane into that spacer area. Mm -hmm. And from there, it can escape to the side. Okay. and to the ambient. So to the usual it will be like an additional insole which does not substitute the, the original insole from the shoe maker, is that correct? It's an additional component and it's not substituting it. It's, Excellent. it's an addition, uh, it's important it's below the booty mm -hmm. and um, you will find, um, not in this shoe but in other constructions, the insole actually below that. Alright. So below that there, there would be the insole and then obviously on that insole the normal outsole or midsole mm -hmm. can be glued, um, whatever is required. Okay, um, so you allow for the moisture to filter out, I guess, to the spacer. Correct. The spacer acts more as like a, like a cavity, like a chamber, where yes. the moisture can go in and then it can escape to the side, to the ambient. I see. So basically, um, it's, a, it's a concept, this 360 degrees uh, mm -hmm. project, which is, uh, as usual, trying to keep your dry feet from the inside out, both ways. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And it's got three, co three basic components. If I, so it's the Gore-Tex sock, mm -hmm. so as to speak, out of got then mm -hmm. the spacer, and then the ventilation the, in the sides, which is also brand new, I said. Because it would be part of every design? Yes, it is part of the design. We have technical specifications for those openings, even though okay. we try to make as less limitations, as few limitations as mm -hmm. needed. Um, so it doesn't matter if it's a, the shape doesn't matter. Um, mm -hmm. It is an absolute surface that is required. Um, mm -hmm. And this is what we're specifying and how Which the These are the, the green parts here the for the part. audience. Yeah. Those are the breathers. These are like the breathers that really ensure the, the connection of the spacer to the ambient. Okay. Correct. So they're always on the side of the sleeve, on both sides. Um, and um, we have technical specs. But they can be round, they can be rectangles, they can be different mm -hmm. shapes. Um, so that's up to our partners and also should give them some design freedom. I see. Yeah, and also some cool looking shoes for sure. <laughs> that's, that's, that's another big opportunity to make the, obviously the, the technology visible mm -hmm. in some cool way. And um, we also already see some quite exciting executions um, from some mm -hmm. of our partners. Good. Um, I see you've been working in Gore-Tex for quite some years already. Uh, I've been 16 years with Gore now. Okay, uh, for people to try to understand uh, how um, important this kind of move is for Gore-Tex, uh, in these 16 years, uh, would you say this has been uh, one of the top developments, the most important development? I'm, I'm talking just for the shoe range. Um, I would say in the 16 years that is probably it's the second development within this time. Right. Um, that is that they, at this level only, so there are only two within that time mm -hmm. frame that uh, are so important to us. 
Okay, and the other was? Well, the other, well, the other one was the the, the introduction of um, what was called XCR at the time, which is the standard comp for today. Mm -hmm. um, so that was about 2002, 2003. All right. And um, since then, I mean, we had a couple of smaller things, um, smaller developments and, and introductions. Um, but on that level and that magnitude, um, well, that's, I would say, the next big one for the okay. next So basically, the idea is uh, for hiking uh, enthusiasts to get uh, the biggest uh, jump forward from Gore-Tex in the last 12 years, more or less? Uh, for those people who are looking for more breathability, yes. Okay, um, that's quite a challenge. <laughs> That's no wonder it took you. <laughs> has been a challenge. It's um, now it looks very easy, but there were a lot of challenges on the way. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I think we we found an interesting way to make it relatively easy. You were mentioning that it will allow brands to develop design. Uh, are there many brands that are going to launch surround products next year? We will have for the initial season and in spring summer 15, 24 partners. Global, All right, <laughs> which is a really good start. Mm -hmm. um, we see that that number will um, definitely increase already okay. in the season after, but I cannot comment obviously on, mm -hmm. on any details on that. But um, we see a very positive momentum and movement in that mm -hmm. area. Okay, for the additional advantages that it provides, it would also have, of course, some additional cost. In terms of weight and the price, more or less, a reference, uh, will it put uh, additional weight on it? Um, we don't see additional weight relative to other shoes okay. because there is some a chance also to compensate with the midsole. Mm -hmm. So um, taking out some material, bringing, out, bringing in some other material, so that mm -hmm. uh, compensates pretty well. Um, and I mean, uh, we, we can estimate that from a cost perspective, it may be that the shoes would be an additional 20, 25 euros. Um, mm -hmm. Even though that's obviously not our decision, that is a decision by the wholesalers and finally by the retailers. All right. The spacer looks to me around uh, four four millimeters at the. It's actually six. On six. It's okay. Actually six millimeters. Right. Good. Okay. So it's a let's say an additional insult, so as to speak. Yeah. For people to understand, which of course, as you said, allows for compensation in terms of midsole or the the shoemaker insole. Exactly. Some shoemakers take insoles as as up to six millimeters and beyond. Exactly, I mean, this is the, there are ways to compensate for the thickness, even though still that's one of the biggest challenges to integrate those additional six mm -hmm. millimeters in the area below the foot. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think we can already see that the executions from our partners that are out there now, um, that um, they really did well. Yeah. Well, thank you, Mark, and we'll put it to the test from tomorrow onwards. <laughs> yeah, I uh -huh. hope you're gonna enjoy it. Um, mm -hmm. I would say try yourself, it's the best way to, to get your yeah. experience and um, I'm sure you will like it. Have you tried it much? I tried it as much as you can imagine. <laughs> yeah. I'm running around in those shoes for so long already. Okay. Um, but um, and I'm still passionate about it. So, I still so like you feel it. confident? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Well, maybe so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you. Yeah.